Hi, everyone. Today is, guess what today is, everyone? Let me show you something. Today is Vintage Wednesday. Woohoo! We're coming in with our third. I'm, I chose the next pattern for the Vintage Wednesday series that we are doing together. Um, so far, we've done two, which is that dress back there, the Juliet dress. It's a 1971-inspired uh, vintage pattern. And lots of people have made it and they love it. And I also made a tutorial for the sleeve because people were having trouble with it. Just the way it's written, it was just like, help, how do I do this? And so I thought, let me just, let me just make this, that cuff part, the, the cup part, cuff, it's cuffed. And then you make the bell. So the first part is making the, bo the bodice, which is very easy. You just put two stitch markers, one on each side. And then you make the sleeve, which is cuffed and gathered. So you get that puffy look. And then the rest is just the shell stitches. It's really easy. It's just, this part here was the toughest. So I did make the tutorial. People asked me to do the whole thing. I'm not going to do the whole thing as a tutorial. I might probably do it as a crochet along, live crochet along maybe, because I want to redo it in a beautiful cotton wool, uh, cotton uh, yarn. So that cotton wool, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. A cotton yarn so that it's light. And because uh, I found that that looks it's beautiful. I love it, but it's very thick. Maybe I need to wash it. I don't know. Soften it up. Um, but it's very thick. I think it would look really nice with a, a beautiful cotton yarn, maybe like, um, uh, what do you call it? Like a, an ombre so that it changes. Maybe, maybe a, a solid color. I'm not sure. And so that's the first one that we did. This is the second one that we did. I don't know if you could see it. It is the, uh, uh, what was it called again? It was called the stole with pocket and sleeve. And I decided to put a button. If you go to my, probably last week's, I, I showed it. Yeah. Um, or maybe the week before, uh, the week before, because last week I was trying to figure out which pattern to do next. So I put a button and, uh, it's beautiful. It looks like a uh, poncho. I, I really prefer to wear it that way. And then with the pocket, I did not like it. So I decided to make it a little sachet purse type thing. So drum roll, please. <laughs> so what did I choose? I chose the crochet pebble baby dress and set for a baby girl. And this is the yarn that I chose for it. It is a, oh, I dropped my crochet hook, oops. Um, it is a Bernat Softy Baby by Yarnspirations. I bought eight skeins because I'm gonna be making a little blanket for this little beautiful, sweet baby um, that is gonna be coming into our life soon. And the colorway is pink, it's just pink. I don't know if you can see it. And so this is 100% acrylic, five ounces, 362 yards by your inspirations. It's a light three and it recommends a four millimeter crochet hook. And I believe it's 100% acrylic. Did I not just say that? Yes, I did. 100% acrylic. This is the yarn. So the pattern says to you need about, um, I think, seven ounces to make the whole thing. So this is five ounces, I think, if I'm not wrong. Um, but I'm making a blanket as well. So I always overbuy. So <laughs> I got lots, I got lots. So let me show you. So far, I dropped my crochet hook. I started it and this is such a cute pattern. Look at it, it looks like little pebbles. Hence the name, crochet pebble um, set for a baby girl. So this is just the beginning. I just started it last night. So that is what we're doing. We're doing the crochet pebble dress set 
for a baby girl. I think that's the name of the pattern, um, which I will put a picture here somewhere. And uh, you can get the free pattern on my Facebook group, which is Craving Crochet. <laughs> or on my blog, which is cravingcrochet.com. So that's the pattern that we're working on next. People, if you want to participate, I would love it if you would join me in this crochet along. This is going to be so sweet. I can't wait to finish it. So, so that's what we're working on next. And then this is a top that I just completed that I'm wearing if anyone's interested. Let me show you quickly. I made a tutorial on this. I just, at this point in time, I still have to edit it. So it's called the Easy Breezy Spring Crochet Top. So I'm, I'm, I did the tutorial and I'm just finishing editing it. It's really easy. It's just one piece. It's one piece. You start at the bottom and you work your way up. You make the head and then finish the back and then sew in your seams. Really easy, really fast. And I use this beautiful yarn that Karen Pruden gifted me um, when I won her giveaway back in <clears throat> around the holidays. She did a big uh, Christmas giveaway. So thank you, Karen. Look at this beautiful top I made with that yarn. I'll show you one more time. Here it is. Here it is. And I only used two skeins to make it. So it was really easy. I hope you try it. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Let me show you something.